hard to imagine this is the same scene as calm return to Capitol Hill with some obvious additions. A two meter high, non-scalable fence hastily erected, going all around the Capitol. Added police presence, a lot more security, a day late. Now pressing questions about why rioters were able to storm the Capitol, completely overrunning Capitol Hill police, a former chief was blunt. But it was a failure and I apologize uh, on behalf of the security people, we failed. The current chief of the Capitol Police quit tonight without explaining why other security forces were not called up in advance. DC's Metro Police suited up into their riot gear only after an urgent call for help. About 1 o'clock p.m. is when MPD was requested by U.S. Capitol to respond and things were, were already pretty bad uh, at that point. The National Guard on standby wasn't mobilized by federal authorities till well after the breach. Everyone knew this was going to happen. Why weren't they tracking social media? Why, frankly, why weren't the protesters, rioters, terrorists, why weren't they infiltrated? Police are squabbling with protesters. Posts on social media suggest police allowed protesters in. While that's not verified, there was a stark contrast between this and Trump's crackdown last summer on protesters, calling up the National Guard, even the military. If tens of thousands of young, old African-Americans uh, attacked the Capitol like that, what would have happened? Demands are growing for a deep security investigation, but none of that coming from President Trump. We are learning tonight that a Capitol police officer is on life support. Four others have died, including a protester from a gunshot wound. Police have made about 68 arrests so far, and FBI are now asking the public for information, data, tips about some of the rioters who were inside the Capitol who now may face some federal criminal charges. Andrew. Right. Susan Ormiston. Thanks.